is going on, beautiful people? And welcome to the only place in the universe that supplies you fuel for your dreams, goals, and entrepreneur ambitions for the free reality TV. And today, people, we have the world famous bookworm segment. Today, we will be talking about no more Mr. Nice Guy. You guys will get my thoughts. You'll get a nice little summary about the book. Um, I'm guaranteeing a lot of women will be upset about this. Uh, a lot of men... I'm just telling you. <laughs> a lot of men gonna feel like, yeah, I gotta tighten up. But before we dive into all that, definitely make sure you guys go check out this video, okay? The giveaway. The giveaway, the giveaway, the giveaway. Make sure you guys tune into that. Four subscribers left. Once we get to 100, I'll be giving away $100 to the lucky winner. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and comment on that video, okay, people? No more Mr. Nice Guy, okay, people? Shout out to my man, Emiliano. He read it. He recommended I check it out. Um, definitely, definitely appreciate that. Some great concepts in this book. So I appreciate you, my man. But this book is primarily about men who we will say are pushovers, who are doormats. And the author, Dr. Robert Glover, is a psychotherapist who has his own clinic and everything like that, who actually helps out men who fit this description. So throughout the book, it just talks about how these men are doormats, how they need to reclaim the masculinity, what are some factors that have led them to become pushovers and and that's why the book is called no more mr nice guy it's just a g check to these men like tighten up man act like a man stop being a doormat stop being a pushover there's more to life than that reclaim who you are don't be afraid of who you are be unapologetic of who you are and throughout the book it gives examples of various men who have these traits that are referred to as uh being a nice guy Okay, so for an example, there was a husband and he was the classic, whatever his wife told him to do, he did. He had no opinions on anything. He wanted to step forward and challenge something that he felt in his heart wasn't, wasn't right. Just a classic pushover. His wife would just be inappropriate in public with him and part of the story in the book they would go out to the club and she would dance with other men while he's standing right there, get numbers for other men and go back home with him, like straight disrespecting the guy and he was okay with it. Um, so you guys will find out the conclusion of that story in the book. The book just uses his psychotherapy, uh, I'll call it a business, it's pretty much just a business. His psychotherapy business group um, and various stories to kind of highlight certain factors as to why these men are quote unquote nice guys the things they have to do to reclaim who they are and to just live a fulfilling life that they know that they deserve. Shout out to my man C for winning two times in a row. This book review was Kevin Hart's latest book. Now, the answer to the question of what was the name of the first movie Kevin Hart was in was Paper Soldiers. Okay, people? So, the first person to answer this question correctly in the comment section below, I will also send you this book for free, like C has been getting in the past too, okay, people? So the question is, as of 2017, what are one of the five top causes for divorce in the United States, okay, people? Once again, as of 2017, what are one of the top five causes for divorce in the United States? So the author being a psychotherapist, he really gets into some, some deep things that really make you feel a certain type of way. The lack of a male presence in young kids' lives, kids, boys, girls' lives, period. I'm gonna read for you guys a short little passage that really summarizes the effects of not having these male influences in these kids' lives. So. In the book, it talks about men born after World War II had the misfortune of growing up during the only era of recent Western history in which it was not always a good thing to be male. Hmm. This was primarily the result of two significant family and social changes in the post-war era. Boys were disconnected from their fathers and other healthy male role models 
and boys were forced to seek approval from women and accept a female definition of what it means to be a male. Once again, a female, a female definition of what it is meant to be a male. He goes on to say, as a result, these two dynamics, many boys and men came to believe that they had to hide or eliminate any negative male traits and become what they believed women wanted them to be. And naturally, when you're trying to be somebody that you're not and you're trying to please someone else, you're never able to fully fulfill who you are, which causes tons of problems that we're not going to get into. But that's just a quick illustration of the kind of psychotherapy that we're going through. We're really digging, digging deep into why these men are quote unquote nice guys and not really being who they are. There's also another point that talks about, you know, as kids are coming up in this developmental age, who are mainly teachers? Women. Just the lack of male influence in a lot of kids' lives is affecting who they are when they grow up because they don't know how to be. They don't know how to interact with women. They don't know how to be a man around a woman. And even vice versa, the book talks about females not knowing how to select a man because they don't they've never been around a man they've never had a male influence so all they get is from what their mother tells them their grandmother tells them and from what the society structure tells them so it really digs deep down into a lot of things a lot of boohoo sad dad stories um why people are how they are so with that we're gonna get into my rating for the book and taking all these things in consideration i give the book a okay rating and the reason why is you have to read this book if you're in a certain mindset is whether you're just curious about yourself you want to improve yourself or really dig deep down into who you are um whether you're want to give some advice to you know any one of your friends that you feel that fits this nice guy description that's the only reason i see you should read this book once again it's very rich in its content in regards to the psychotherapy to why people and men are acting these ways um he don't pull no punches yes some people i can already see are going to get offended by some of the things that he says because he keeps it he keeps a g he keeps a g he tells you how it is and it's not politically correct it is what he is what he's discovered through his you know therapy sessions and everything like that um once again he's sharing stories real stories of what has gone on in these men's lives and it's gonna just rub people the wrong way you're not gonna like the ending of some of these stories and you're just not gonna like what he said but in my perspective a lot of it a lot of it is very true and it just really really makes you think like dang ah i fit that description in some of these areas let me tighten up <laughs> So yeah, that's why I give it a okay reading. If you're in that mentality, if you're in that headspace, I definitely recommend you get this book. If you're just picking it up for a casual read, uh, I don't think it's gonna be gonna be for you. You're just gonna get probably good. So, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys for always tuning in to Reality TV, people. As you guys know, the first person to answer that trivia question correctly in the comment section below, I will send you this book for free. Like I said, my dog C, he's on a roll. He got two books in a row, people. It could be you. It could be you if you comment. Don't play with it, okay? Also, in the comment in the description below, I have the subscriber giveaway video. Make sure you guys check that out. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe and drop a comment in that video, okay? We're giving away $100. Don't, it's free money. Might as well, right? So make sure you guys check that out. And as always, you all have a great day, week, month, people. Read, people. I love reading. Oh, yeah. If you guys have any book suggestions, drop that in the comment section below for me, man. Like I said, my dog Emiliano, he recommended that book for me. Pretty dope. Anything else, I just want to read some more. So send me some more recommendations, okay? But have a great day, week, month. Make sure you guys tune in to Reality TV every Sunday, maybe Wednesday. Who knows? Dominate Dent the Universe, people, all right? <laughs>